40% of small businesses in New Orleans are black owned, but they account for just 2% of total sales receipts. And as people all across the nation have more conversations about race and demand racial equality, there's a big push to support black owned businesses. The creators of a new market in New Orleans called the FUBU market are making it easy to support black owned businesses. I spoke with the founders about tomorrow's event. Alexa Smith and Jayla Gowdy are joining me now to talk more about the market. The very first one. Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me. No, I'm so excited to have you guys. I've heard several people tell me about the market going on this weekend, so I said I need to find the creators of this. Tell us about the FUBU market. Um, yeah, so I basically wanted to create a solution to a problem. Um, I'm super, super passionate about health and wellness. Um, and just wanted to shop black at one moment and was noticing that it was super difficult to do that in one mm. space. Um, so I wanted to create a space in New Orleans specifically where there could be black health, health and wellness vendors along with farmers to come and just showcase what they have and people can come and shop and create economic circulation within the community. So give us um, kind of what you guys have planned for the day on Saturday. Um, well, it's going to be, if you can imagine, like a California farmer's market full of uh, resources, prepared foods, fresh produce. We're going to have live entertainment, but it's for the family. So we're also going to have um, a petting zoo, face painting. Um, and we're just really excited about the entire Black community, family included, coming out um, and trying to live a better lifestyle, a healthy lifestyle. Very nice. And you mentioned this being timely and a solution to a problem, several problems being solved here. We're also going to be doing um, voters registration, the census. We know like our people usually don't um, fill out the census and we have a lack of resources because of that. So just um, trying to help create more opportunities for black people, black uh, businesses, and then resources for our community as well. Mm -hmm. Sure, you guys are tackling so many problems at one time from health to economics. We always talk about black businesses in the nation and in our city not bringing in the amount of revenue that they could because of so many barriers to economic success. Absolutely. And so we know we're a good consumer in America. Mm -hmm. um, we spend a lot with other cultures. This is something we can do for ourselves, you know, um, for us, by us. Right. Completely. And just changing the narrative that Black people can't be healthy, um, which is obviously not true. We have so many amazing vendors that offer services that can help um, the mental, physical, and financial, all different aspects of health. So we just want to help to change that narrative. Absolutely. Very nice. And you talked about those vendors. Kind of give us a highlight of some of the vendors that will be there. We have Papa Ted yes. uh, coming out. We well, have Bilingo uh, with Your Thought coming out. We have um, Bike and Vote. Mm -hmm. uh, Erica Flowers with Taste of Tropics. Mm -hmm. um, and then as far as the farmers, we are partnering with Recirculating Farms. Um, they'll be out there. And then we have a couple of farmers from Mississippi that'll be out there. Um, we'll also have Old Mac Ronald. He'll be out there with a couple of his pets. We'll have a small COVID friendly petting zoo out there for the kids. Personal training business, Jim with Jay will be out there as well. Sounds like a great day. And as you said, a great day with a lot of purpose. Alexis and Jayla, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. And guys, the FUBU market is taking place tomorrow from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. at 3101 Arado Street. For more information, you can check out the Instagram page, which is at the FUBU market, and we'll put a link to their website on ours at WWLTV.com.